Today is the day that Greece officially exits its nine-year bailout of more than 274 billion euros. You're going to recall the massive protests that engulfed Greece for years as people protested all the budget cuts, pension cuts, tax hikes, etc. Uncertainty about whether the Greeks would follow the bailout rules so they could pay back all the European banks would move the Dow four or 500 points in a day. So, not anymore. What does success look like? Their GDP is now $192 billion, down from $354 billion in 2010. Unemployment is at 20%. That's down from 27%. Their population is down by about a half a million due to a brain drain, and they still owe 248 billion euros, but they do have a primary budget surplus. The brain drain is concerning. You hear about the sure. best and the brightest taking off they if leave. they can get out. What, yeah. But what are the future hopes? I mean, is it going to be a better place to be? The, the one bright spot is the unemployment's down right. to um, 20%. You know, they need to do real reforms within the economy that they've never been willing to do. Uh, so I don't know what actually makes their economy ever grow in a meaningful way until they stop protecting nearly every single industry like they do. Making it hard to open businesses, hard to open competitors. Hard, hard to even join a profession. You know, it's big in Europe. Italy's like this too. You want to join a profession, there's all kinds of rules that make it extremely hard. And they control the, they control the number of drivers there are in the country. There's a number, you know, they control the number of pharmacists. They control the number of teachers. They can, so you're in a great position if you get one of those jobs, but if you can't make your way into it. Yes, exactly. And it's extremely hard to get into those positions.